What is going on guys? All right, so week four has concluded. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you my week five top 25 after the exciting games we got yesterday. So at 25, I'm gonna have Florida State. They're 4-0, they look pretty good coming out of the gate. Uh, 24, Minnesota. I love the Golden Gophers up there. They're playing incredible ball, um, just doing a great job. Number 23, I got Florida. Um, tough loss against Tennessee up in Knoxville, game day was there. Um, so a five point loss, not crazy, but that does put them with two losses on the season. Number 22 is gonna be BYU. 21 is going to be Arkansas, lost the heartbreaker to Texas A&M yesterday. 20 is going to be Washington. 19, Texas A&M. 18, Kansas, the Jayhawks, coming out firing at 4-0. 17 is going to be Oregon. 16, the Baylor Bears. 15, the Utes of Utah. 14 is going to be the Penn State Nittany Lions. 13 is Oklahoma, who went down from number 6 after the loss to Kansas State at home. Number 12 is going to be Ole Miss, seven-point win. Got shut out in the second half yesterday by Tulsa, but uh, still undefeated. Number 11, Wake Forest. Now, I know that's pretty high considering they lost yesterday, but they lost to Clemson. One possession game. Sam Hartman is playing crazy good football. I still think they're very much alive uh, right now if some stepping stones happen with Clemson and the ACC. Number 10 is the NC State Wolfpack. Nine is Kentucky, eight, Tennessee, uh, took it to Florida yesterday, played great. Hendon Hooker is starting to look like a real Heisman candidate. Number seven is Clemson, six, Oklahoma State, who was on a bye yesterday, but we moved them up since Oklahoma took that loss. Number five is USC, got out against um, Oregon State. Took it all the way down. Their offense looked nowhere near what a Lincoln Riley offense is supposed to look like or what they have looked like. So give a ton of credit to the Beavers up at Oregon State, but they could not pull it off. USC ended up taking that win. Number four is Michigan. Uh, three, Ohio State. Two, Georgia. Yesterday was a very sloppy game. I think we exposed a little bit. And what we've all said is the step back that they would take from last year's defense. Yesterday was the first time they did that. So I think that kind of shows a little bit of the pecking order of where we're at. And number one is going to be Alabama. They have had their sloppy game as well as Ohio State. Both of theirs just came earlier in the season. I still think that it is Bama, Georgia, and Ohio State at the top three. And there's a pretty, pretty significant gap. Um, but Michigan is starting to close that a little bit. But then everybody else, it's, it's a pretty large gap at the top. So... There you go. Your top four is going to be Bama, Georgia, Ohio State, and Michigan once again. It's probably going to stay that way, just the way the teams are looking, but that's what makes college football so fun. You never know what's going to happen, so we'll see you guys next week.